everyone, it's I, uh, Wacky Anime What If here, here to present you with What If Deku and Bill Cipher Made a Deal Part 5. Let's go ahead and get into it. Currently, POV, POV Bakugo. As Bakugo is sitting in a cafe with Aizawa, Shoto Aizawa, or as everyone knows him as, Pro Hero Eraserhead, who is directly across from him, immediately staring at Bakugo. Bakugo immediately says, why did you ask me to come here? And Aizawa says, I'd like to ask you a question. Do you know a person known as Izuku Midoriya? As he asked this, all of a sudden, Bakugo, as he was lifting up his cup of coffee, automatically spills it. He drops the coffee as it breaks, and the coffee flows out everywhere. It all of a sudden goes towards Aizawa's side of the table and then falls and falls in his lap. As Aizawa was trying to ignore the fact that his crotch is now burning now. And <laughs> he's doing a damn good job because he still has a serious face. And everyone else just looking around just wondering why he's not screaming. As Aizawa is just having strain on his face as he says, I need you to tell me, damn it. As he slammed his hands towards the table. And has a serious face. And he looks very furious. As his eyes are absolutely crimson red. And his hair standing up, showing he's activating his quirk. And he's got his red his scarf ready in case he tries to flee the question or try to run away. After all, this has already happened three times he tried to ask. Immediately as he says, Izu, usually is gone. <laughs> Immediately, while getting ready to capture Bakugo in case he ran, Bakugo says, why, why do you keep asking me this? As Aizawa says, the reason why I keep asking you is because he's part of the Honkai incident. He was directly beside the monster known as Bill Cipher, who caused this entire mess. Immediately, immediately, Bakugo said, I, I don't, he, he would never do it. He, he wouldn't. As Aizawa says, you're going to have to take facts, kid. He's definitely with Bill Cipher. He was smiling during the incident. They even have a photograph here. Why don't you take a look? As he went into his pocket and digged out a photo and literally pressed it against Bakugo's face as he slammed it down on the ground on the actual cafe table, ignoring the looks he was getting as he just looked at them with a glare and they all just shut up, not wanting that to be them. As Izuku, as Bakugo's face was put directly into the hot burning coffee and directly forced into the actual image of. Izuku and Bill Cipher directly above the Hosu incident. And Izuku having a smile and his eyes just showing pure insanity and enjoyment of the situation that was around him. As Bakuya saw this, there was two things in his mind. First, holy shit this burns as he was being forced into the burning ass coffee. And the second thing was, this, this isn't Izuku. You'd never do this. As he lifted his face out of the coffee, as Aizawa finally let him get his face out of the coffee. As he did, he looked towards Aizawa and says, This isn't him. Are you sure it's not someone with a disguise quirk or something like that? The the Izuku I know would never do this. He wanted to be a hero. He screams out. As Aizawa says, Hmm. Wow. He wanted to be a hero, huh? Well, that checks out. After all, when I went to his middle school, I heard... Many people say he wanted to be one, but I also heard he was delinquent and that he had absolute straight, horrible grades, straight Fs actually, and that he always talked out in class and was the class clown. As he said this, Bakugo clenched his fists, knowing that his middle school ended up covering up the entire incident with him. As he slammed his fists on, fists on the table, ignoring the burning coffee that was literally in his hand right now, as he slammed his hands on it, ignoring the burning feeling, he immediately stares towards Aizawa and says, that's not what he was like. He was a sweet kid that everyone beat down. Everyone tore him down. Everyone treated him like absolute garbage. The teachers, the students, everyone, even including me. I used to be his friend. We were friends ever since we were kids. But I abandoned him. I thought he was looking down on me one day. And then I just decided to make his life a hell. I felt joy from it. 
and that disgusts disgusts me to this day that I actually took joy and pleasure into driving his dream into the ground, beating him, giving him three-degree burn, scars all over his body, which will never heal. As he says this towards Aizawa, he immediately says, it's all because he was quirkless. It's the reason why everyone did this to him. As he says this, Aizawa says, it's all because he was quirkless. Are you kidding me? That's the reason why you did it. As Bakugo nods, as his eyes are cast downwards and hair above his eyes, as immediately Bakugo slams his hands on the table, absolutely breaking the table in half, and screams out, Then this could have happened to my child, huh? My lovely kid, Shion. It could have happened to her, too. She wanted to be a hero. If he wanted to be a hero and this happened, what do you think would have happened to her? He says as he slams his fist onto the table as it broke. And immediately, Bakugo looks at him in absolute shock. Didn't know that he had a kid. As Aizawa said, you're absolute scum. You don't deserve to be a hero. As he grabs him by the collar and puts him forward towards him. And he says, you're lucky I can't put my hands on you more or I go to jail. And I wouldn't want to leave Nimmer alone. But remember this. I absolutely hate you. The only reason why you're still in the in class 1A is because, ba- is because that idiot All Might thinks that you're a good fit. As he throws him back in, into the booth. And before Bakugo could say anything else, all of a sudden everyone on the outside of the cafe was screaming and looking up into the air. As they were looking up in the air and screaming, Eraserhead immediately looked up directly from the window to look up in the air and saw that the entire sky was turning dark red and that there was, oh no, as he sees this, he immediately jumped, immediately runs directly out of the coffee shop and goes directly onto the side of the street and the sidewalk and looks upwards, seeing Bill Cipher in the air just floating right there as he merely snaps his fingers and a giant rip or tear in the entire sky just opens up a multicolored portal or rift of some sort. As this is happening, Bakugo sees this too and immediately instead of going through the front door like a normal person, he just jumps through the front of the window and breaks the window. As he looks up directly and sees it more in a clear view, he sees Cypher just looking down at everyone and immediately as he does he set, screams out finally finally my time has come the day that i have been looking forward to for so long but this time no one will foil it no one will foil my fun he says and screams out into the air as he says mortal form as i take this mortal form i will plunge this world into a never ending party the party will never stop as he screams this out, and and flesh starts to go over his triangular form and wrap around, and so is liquid liquid metal. Immediately, Bakugo feels more of a danger sense go towards him, feeling as if he should stop this before he completes it. As he immediately gets in position and fires himself up in the air, and sparks come flying off of him as lightning wraps around him, and Aizawa sees him do this as he flies up into the air, using as much explosions as he can muster from the sweat he was feeling, from just the absolute fear of the danger that's to come, as he started to literally fly towards him, using 50% of one for all to try to get faster, as it was hurting his arms at this point, as he was directly in front of Bill Bill Cipher, about to punt, land a blow at him. Cipher was about to snap his fingers and most likely just erase him from existence or shuffle all of his facial functions together as he was about to do this Bakugo was a lot quicker than Bill Cipher could since he was being formed into a mortal form and still activating a portal at the same time all this was happening as his fist was about to connect with Bill Cipher all of a sudden it stopped right there in front of him as someone had literally stopped the blow with one hand as they were floating in the air staring at 
staring at Bakugo with absolute burning hatred in, in their eyes as this figure looked at Bakugo and says, Katsuki, damn you, as he throws him directly back towards the ground. As he falls to the ground and slams directly there, and everyone can hear the impact as Bakugo feels as if he was hit by a truck, as a, a fist indent is directly put into his chest as he was punched and thrown directly to the ground. As he looked upwards in the sky, seeing Izuku directly beside Bill, he immediately screams up in the air, Izuku, what the hell are you doing with him? Didn't you want to be, be a hero? What's changed you? What happened to the Izuku I once knew? As he screamed this, Izuku looked at him in rage. His eyes started to glow violent red, and flames started to pick up around him. Green flames, as Bill was looking at him as if he was a proud dad looking at his son, or a proud chaotic being looking at another chaotic being that he created of his own creation and his own image. As... He was staring at Izuku, who finally unlocked his flames from just pure hatred. They were burning a dark crimson, crimson red with a little bit of green mixed into it. The red and green flames wrapped all around him as it started to heat up the entire area, as if the sun itself was crashing down. Many people started to sweat. Many people started to actually feel burns as a burning sensation across their body, as Izuku screamed out, what happened to me? This world happened to me, all because I was quirkless. All because of that one fact. Everyone thought it, thought it right to crush me into the ground and destroy every aspiration I've ever had. I wanted to be a hero, but everyone kept on dragging me down and painting me out to be the villain. So, I thought, after you left me for dead, after you exploded my neck with your explosion quirk and I was left to die and Bill was the only one that offered his hand in the dark when the world itself let me down I thought <laughs> if this world won't accept me then this world doesn't deserve to, to exist he said enraged as his rage started to fuel his flames, as they were going across wildly, landing into the city, causing many buildings to burn down, as Izuku ends up looking towards Bakugo and says, huh, anyone that was born quirkless felt the same thing I did. <laughs> Sometimes it might take a little bit longer than others. As he screams this out, a razor head couldn't help but scream out, are you saying that my daughter of just six would have felt the same pain you went through as he screams this out towards Izuku. And he said, yes, he, she would have. She would have felt all the agony, the pain of being quirkless, the pain of being looked down on and being disgusted by. Heck, eventually later on, you might have even been disgusted because of just the mere image that everyone else paints out for you at, of her. Heck, <laughs> that's what I know my mom was. After all, the time she looked at me, she was probably disappointed. I know she was. As she looked in my eyes, immediately, he, when he screamed this out, I saw said, So you're saying that if she didn't die, this would have happened to her. You're a damn liar, he, he says. As Izuku says, Huh, she's the lucky one. She died early. She died before she could see the true colors of this dark world, this vile world that deserves to be purified. As he says this, he immediately bolts downwards and appears directly in front of Bakugo as he slams his hand downwards to Bakugo who was trying to get up and he crashes right back to the ground where he was and Izuku gets on top of him and starts rapidly punching him in the stomach, in the face, in the legs. He actually starts to make it to where cracking sounds could be heard from Bakugo. His mere body was doing cracking sounds. And Bill was just floating overhead, literally letting in multiple different entities fly around, causing mass destruction around the area. As he was just 
waving his fingers in the air as if he was in an opera, directing one of the best symphonies he could ever do. As he was doing this, he was also eating some popcorn through his eye hole, which he actually ripped out his eye to eat the popcorn and drink the wine he had near him that was floating in the air with him as he was watching the absolute destruction of Bakugo Kotsky as Izuku lifted up Bakugo by the leg and punched him directly in the chest, causing him to fly backwards into the cafe that Aizawa and Bakugo had just gotten out of. He flew directly through it, destroying the entire cafe, making collapse in on itself, killing a few people that were still inside, or unlucky enough to be inside. Some of them were still injured, though. But as he was punched through it, he went all the way into a hospital that was a ways down. As he did, he flew into the hospital, crashed into a few nurses, which killed them directly on impact, and was directly put into a wall. He was stuck into a wall as many nurses tried to pull him off. As they were watching this from the news, as they looked through the TV and saw this, they tried to pull Bakugo out of the wall so he could fight back against him. As they pulled him, tried to pull him out of the wall, all of a sudden, Izuku just appeared directly in front of him, merely looked at both of the nurses that were trying to pull Bakugo out of the wall that he was stuck to, and merely looked at one of them, lifted them up, and said, Hey, Bakugo. As Bakugo looked at him in horror, seeing what Izuku was doing, choking the life out of the nurse, he said, You wanted to be a hero, right? Then save her. Come on, do it. As Bakugo tried to get himself out, trying to use his quirk, but it hurt his lungs to do so, but he just ignored it, immediately feeling a sense of adrenaline coming through him as he powered up 50% of one for all and an explosion and immediately fired it towards Izuku, not thinking twice, but all Izuku did was move the actual nurse that he was holding directly in front of the explosion, taking the full brunt of it, as the explosion also supposedly damaged Izuku, and the smoke that was left from the hospital being absolutely exploded finally cleared after a few minutes of Bakugo being absolutely horrified when he pulled himself out of the wreckage he was in. As the other nurse just looked horrified at the situation that happened, as she looked into the into the dust, screaming out her best friend's name, who tried also tried to help out Bakugo. Heine, are you okay, Heine? As she says this and was walking into the fog, all of a sudden a hand came out and grabbed her by the face and immediately crushed it as if it was absolutely nothing, and then threw her away as as if she was just. A mere annoyance. And as the the fog cleared up, it was Izuku there, completely unscathed. As Izuku said, Hey Bakugo, <laughs> come on, hit me. I'll even give you as many hits as you want for the next five minutes. So go on ahead. Not like it'll be useful. As Bakugo hears this, he immediately sees all the fear and everyone around him. He immediately charges in one for all and punches him directly in the stomach, causing him to fly all the way back through, out of the hospital, directly into the wreckage of the cafe. As he hit the cafe wreckage, he bounced off of it and landed directly into the middle of Hosu, directly on his back. As he did, Bakugo immediately zoomed in with a flash of lightning and appeared directly above him, slamming his arm downwards. Or Right when he did, he did it directly into his chest, and kept on barraging him with multiple barrages of punches. So many punches, in fact, that it started to change the actual weather and the surroundings around him, destroying everything in sight. As Bakugo attempted to barrage Izuku with all these, Izuku just had a bored expression on his face. He actually got up while being punched and and kicked directly in the side of the face, and not budging a single bit, not a single bit of blood going down. And... Izuku merely just, after Bakugo tried to do one more roundhouse kick and use 75% this time, all Izuku did was put one finger right beside him, and that one finger stopped his kick from going any further. As Izuku immediately said, hey, (laughs) oh wow, (laughs) that was a good one. I actually felt that one through my my little pinky, he said as he stopped it with a pinky. And he said, 
But hey, guess what? And Bakugo looked at him in horror as Izuku said, you're done, as he flicked him in the forehead and he flew into the air directly where the portal was that was directly open and stayed open as many entities were coming through still. Eyeball creatures flap flying through, actually shooting lasers at Bakugo as he was flying through the air directly towards the portal. And one giant loaf of bread with muscly arms and legs actually grabbed him and threw him further into the air after crushing him a little bit. As this was happening, even a few three giant babies came out of the portal and one of them had one gun, which they shot Baku no, Bakugo directly in the kneecap. The one with two guns shot him directly in into the chest, causing him to cough out violently. Well, near the chest, causing him to cough out violently. And the one with three guns just all of a sudden just started barraging him with multiple bullets. But Bakugo used one for all Black Whip to actually catch the bullets this time. Well, as many as possible, except for one that lodged directly into his shoulder. As the one that lodged directly into his shoulder immediately blew his shoulder almost clean off. Him barely being able to use it at that point. Couldn't even feel his left arm at this point. As all this was happening, he was still flying towards the portal. Izuku immediately looked up in the sky and said, Hmm, hey Bill, he screamed out. As Bill looked at him and says, Yeah, what do you want to do? And... Izuku says, all right, I'm, a, I'm just going to punch him through that portal. Me and him going to fight over there, okay? And Bill says, yeah, you do you. You do you. He says casualty, casually as he waves towards Izuku. As Izuku just disappears, appears behind Bakugo, and kicks him directly into the portal at an even faster rate. As he flew into the portal and was in a destroyed world with many different entities, Izuku literally went in after him and grabbed his leg before he could even fall anywhere in the portal, and just yeeted him into a pyramid that was in the world, that world. As he yeeted him into the pyramid, the pyramid ex- literally just collapsed as he was thrown through it, and Izuku just appeared directly behind him, not letting him even hit the ground before kicking him in the back, causing him to slide across the ground, and Izuku just walking towards him, just menacingly walking towards him. And says, come on, bitch, you go. Get up. Go ahead and get up, huh? You know what? <laughs> just to make this more terror, more horrifying for you. Just so you can feel a slight bit of the pain I felt. Why don't I? As he walks closer towards towards him and puts his hand on Bakugo's forehead. Immediately, Bakugo feels something different as this is happening. And he's being lifted up. As he tries to punch... Midoriya with his explosion quirk and his one for all all at the same time all of a sudden when his punch connects it was just a normal plain punch that did absolutely nothing but hurt his hand so bad that he could actually see blood appearing out of the knuckles as that was happening Izuku says so how does it feel to be quirkless he says as all of a sudden he felt pain and pain intensify in his body as Izuku started to act to absolutely destroy him with barrages of punches this time moving his level level of strength down to a human level and just punching him in the guts a few times punching him in the face literally dragging his hair slamming him against the ground and then dragging his face against the ground all the way towards a few miles away directly into a hotter area of the land layout and throwing him towards it and pressing his face against it and burning it. As this is happening, and Izuku's just staring down at him, he immediately says, Guess what, Bakugo? As he lifts his face up and sees Bakugo staring at him. He says, The fun isn't over yet. As he snaps his fingers and Bakugo is completely healed as if nothing ever happened. And Izuku says, because I didn't get any, any, any of that round two yet. As he threw him a far distance away from him and said, go ahead and get up. And that's what if, wait, before we, before we stop this actually, POV change. Currently Bill Cipher is just watching an amusement as all these 
eyeball bats are literally just swarming all these citizens, just shooting lasers at them. As he says, destroy them with lasers. As he says, this giant floating sharks, if you would not, are literally flying out of the portal. And they have lasers attached to them shooting people. And babies with guns are literally just going around shooting people, too. They're giant babies with guns shooting people. And when all my guy into the scene, he got slapped by a baby. He literally got pimp slapped by a, ba- a baby and was flown into two imp- two actual buildings. As he was flown into two buildings, he said, shit, that hurt. Well, he was flying into the air. And Bill Cipher just was quite puzzled by a few people when he heard some people that were dying saying, Leroy Jenkins, trying to fight a giant marshmallow man, which... Honestly, he doesn't even know that entity. Like, who invited... Then he remembered, hey, that's Phil. As he looks to the side and sees this giant eyeball demon with, like, thousands of eyeballs right beside him. And he says, hey, did you invite Phil? And the eyeball demon said, yeah, I I thought you said take everyone. And he said, except for Phil. Phil was a softie. He's he's trying to hug people. As he looks at Phil, who's literally just walking, walking into the disaster, just hugging people and saving people. And the eyeball demon says, yeah, we shouldn't have brought Phil. Should we kill him? And Bill says, uh, yeah, I think we should probably kill him. And that's where I'm going to end. What if Deku and Bill Cipher made a deal? Part five.